So, <coughs> we went to the pantomime. I think it was yesterday, Mum. Was it? Uh, New Year's Eve. Well, New Year's Eve. So, two days. Just, yeah, New Year's Eve. And today we ventured and out on the... Uh, it was the last show. And they had... The trade trail road. We watched The Wizard of Oz. I thought, on I thought the bottom of North Peru. Peru. Very, very funny. 2nd of January 2023. Happy New Year, folks. Oh, yeah, I remember getting to this bit. <laughs> Maybe wandered again with us. So I got to this bit in my car, and because I hadn't been along here before, see how it goes up? Yeah. And I was thinking, uh oh. And I had no idea what my fate was. Anyway, still got all the way to the end of here. Then I had to try and turn around and come back again. <laughs> so my fiesta was a bit knackered after that. <clears throat> what a... What a divvy. <laughs> hey, I was, I was being adventurous. No, stupid. <laughs> it was nothing like this. It was definitely easier than this, I think. But I did give it a bit of clang when I was coming down. It was the uh, the front bumper bit that went... <laughs> Nothing serious, then. Eh? Nothing serious. No, the, this, like... It knocked something underneath. It was wobbling forever after that. I don't know if it was the engine or something. I don't know. Yeah, but my car is grass and mechanicalness. <laughs> yep. So this little track, well, as I said, runs along the side of North oh, Peru. Oh, and well, eventually we're going to get to Park Llewellyn Farm. That's lovely, that's isn't it? The fairies to climb up the stairs. That's the, yeah, it is. That's the fairy bath. Well done, Sammy. That's a fairy bath. Shall I get in? <laughs> yeah, especially for little fairies like you. Yeah. A bit rough round here now. As I said, this road comes off the Hibernia Road. I think Sammy's with us today, as I said, and the dogs. So Park Llewellyn's on, on this track. Well, you take your car along, it's good to walk. Very good in the push bike, I would think. Watch out, it's all wet here, Sammy. You have to go that way. Roxy, Penny! Not that way, this way. You go that way. This was where my journey ended with yep. the car. <clears throat> I reversed here and had to go back. I should have carried on. Looks even better down that way. Yeah, I don't know where that one there goes to, to be fair. It comes out um, one of the main roads down there. There's only one main road. It'll be that one then. That one, is it? <laughs> yeah. Not suitable for vehicles. <clears throat> <coughs> a reflection on the year that's been huh? I started last year, this time 12 months ago on my own, living in the hills in my caravan. Oh, Shack. Glasses, the tissues. And ended up this year with Carl and Sammy. With this absolute delight. <laughs> um, no comment on that one. Folks have commented upon our age difference a few times and I've said, oh, I think she'll pull through. Yeah. No, you can't do cash on them. You have to go and talk to a real human if you want to use cash. And as they say, it's only a number. No New Year's resolutions. Nah. Don't see any point in it. Never stick to it. anything anyway. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. <coughs> we have some plans for the year. 
I've got 60 videos on YouTube. At the Alaman. We'll do a few more this year. Don't know about your feet, Sammy, but mine are cold. And I've got thick socks on. Oh. oh well, we'll get a nice pot of tea after this. Yeah. Yeah. Cake? Yeah. Huh? <coughs> Cake and tea. I'm fortunate to tell the I'm firing away into the sun. So I've no idea how good it'll be. Or whether it'll be any good. Carla said it's not very long. She always says that. <coughs> it's a large estate. Park Llewellyn, the name Llewellyn came from the guy who first owned it in the late 1700s. Crown State. <coughs> he bought it and decided he put a grand residence up on the hillside here for his friends to stay in the summertime. It was sold in 1861 to Mr. Moore for 2750, 910 acres. Today that's 260 grand. It's been a colossal amount of money in those days. <laughs> Nearly there yet. Are we? Yep. It's always been a sheep farm. Just round the corner. And for... You ever seen this row of pega trees? Mm, I don't we must think be it's... on the right path. Pega trees, isn't they? they are, aren't they? Yeah, they're thorn trees, but they wouldn't be for washing. These will just be ones that's naturally... No, I know, but I know a pega tree. Well, definitely a pega tree. What they really called? Hawthorns. Hawthorns. Oh, I'd love to. I like the hawthorn. <clears throat> we planned to buy, buy Sammy some wellies today, but everywhere's shut. <laughs> so Sammy has to suffer it. So she's in the plimsolls. <laughs> Did that hit you in the face? road going up here at some point it's all washed away. Yeah, it's tarmac both sides really isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Are they coming back down? That's a good view. Penny Roxy! <laughs> Sammy, don't. They'll come up here thinking they're their mum. Got a bloody <laughs> You've got your own sheep to have. You'll be lambing soon. Right. They're all interesting. <coughs> I try. <laughs> Not very good with ignoring you, are I? <coughs> I have tried. <coughs> Thank you. 
A stony old track, hard on the feet. Because you've got the wrong shoes on. Can't have. your heels again, haven't you? My heels on. <laughs> <coughs> hey? Yeah. There's quite a few things to see out along this track. We'll get them all today. There's Corney Farm, North Co North that. Laxey Mines. A little star. A little um <coughs> a step. A star. Yeah. You're going the wrong way though, dear. Ooh, what's that? What's up down there? Oh, where's Roxy? Where's Penny? Well, there's Roxy. Penny! Oh, there she is. A little somewhere. Are you not coming down? No. I like the way you laugh at that, Sammy. Yeah, I'm what I've left you. Yeah. Hey, Penny, you always wait for me, don't you? Not like him. He doesn't bloody wait for me. Sammy, yeah. tell us what happens when your mother says, "Let's go for a walk." Tell us what your mother says when we go for a walk. Just around the corner. What else? Look, just up that hill. Turn just left, turn right. Just and what up does the it way. Use, what does it usually mean, Sammy? It means it usually means it's not that far, but it is far. <laughs> There's a what's this pick on Carla finest hour. Mm -hmm. And start it yet. Get a picturesque view of our beautiful countryside. So lucky people. <coughs> really lucky people. Uh huh. Mm, it's in a room somewhere. Yeah, I think it's in that shelf thing that's on the corner. Ah, here we are. Not. We know where it is. If it's a gate. One gate. A few gates open and shut. Not too many. Well, this track is not really muddy either. So you can probably walk in your good shoes. Something like that. We try and find that as well for today. We're nearly there. You're not nearly there. No. Is 
that the way we go, doggies? Ah. Huh? <laughs> my love. Thank you my sweet. Do you always walk like that? I'm paid to do this. <laughs> it's not a kiss again you know. Any opportunities? Past the shop to stay already. Get days Sammy. like this anywhere, Tom, you think. God, it's great to be out. Oh, oh, damn it. I thought he was going to head straight into that deep water. I can see. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, <coughs> mate. It's all right. fell away. Gosh, it's very watery. It would be best doing this in the summer. <laughs> it's like a river down here. It's not too bad, it's not muddy, is it? Well, the grass is well kept, actually. see those to uh, what's it's over there can you see them the three what's it oh what are they called what's it where that picture is of me north, La north laxey mines yeah i can see the three towers not towers are they, are they chimneys well uh, they said they supported some sort of viaduct all oh, right i don't know whether they did or not Roxy, really Peaceful. Can't hear them, not even traffic. No. It always amazes me, no matter how often you come to these places, always see something you didn't see. <coughs> Amazing, isn't it? Do I don't they know what to, it is. Do they go right through? No, that's just it. You see, uh, when I normally seen these holes, what they used to do, they used to like sheep to go from one side of the hill to another. So they'd have a hole in the wall which they'd block off when they didn't want the sheep to go through. But that doesn't make any sense there because it's filled in behind it. Yeah. Well, I can't even think what that'd be useful. No. <clears throat> but it's man made for some reason. Mm. And on we go. Hello, I'm from the 1920s. <laughs> Would you like one teaspoon or two? That's not me. <laughs> That girl needs blinking therapy. <laughs> it's been squawking, squawking, squawking like a demented sheep for most of the track. I don't think this is a man-made well, I think this is a natural well.
Roxy. No. Sheepy. Well, now that didn't make it. That right, you drew him. I made it. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, it was very nice. A little, uh, very crude shelter point to do with a sheep lambing, I'm thinking. <coughs> mm. And these little stones are very treacherous, you're right there. Moved it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we started our own little uh, fountain site last year. <laughs> last year. <laughs> Too many rules in all the little sites, so got our own little site going. Ah! Sammy, stop! Get off on the side of the hedge. Look ahead. Finally! <laughs> right, I think Sammy. by Sammy's reaction. There's something for you to find up here. Salton. No, we found that. Exactly. It's, it's, Salton, we found it. it's called Money in the Bank. Okay? It's a little oven at the side of the road. And maybe they used to put money in it because it's away from the house and it won't go on fire. It's a little oven, sort of. You'll see. But it'd be money from like the 1920s. Well, if you find the money, you can have it. Really? Yeah. But I can't buy anything with it. Yeah. So finally. If you find it. So what felt like hours. The money in the bank. Found it. Park Llewellyn. <laughs> Got a couple of pictures of it when it was more intact. It's owned by Mike Goldie many years ago. It does have the look of a bit of a schoolhouse, really. Mm. So it was farmed as a sheep farm for 50 years by Mr. Walter Jackson. He lived up here as well, I just farmed it. So I reckon around about here, there's a, a guy on Facebook on the Fulton page. He posted a picture that his dad had painted in 96 with the roof on. All right. And in the picture, there's a little boy that sat on the gate, which, which would be there. And that's Robert Thompson. That's the son and his dad was Thomas Thompson. Right. He painted the picture. They've given me permission so we can post it. We'll put a copy of it on the site. It looks lovely. Yeah. When was that? 96. 96. So it still had a roof in 96. Huh. So I reckon it was around about here because that's what it looks like. But yeah, I can't believe it. Fantastic. Have you found the bank yet, Sammy? You have a few things to find. There's a well here somewhere. A bit of history about an old. Uh, Folklore that may or may not be true. We found it now. <coughs> Thank you, Sammy. You're not coming through. Uh, right. <sighs> oh, I do like it up here. So there she is, sitting on the hillside. 
Sir Walter Jackson farmed up here for 50 years, died in his 80th year in Ramsey. See where his family married into the uh, Parsons world. Well known Manx farming family too. Where we came from. Well, he was talking, so. <coughs> Go on. Roxy, a plonker. Look, look. What? Look, look. Sound an excited child. Sammy's extremely excited. I think she likes this one. Look. What have you found, Sammy? This, this. That, that ugly. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was um, an awful lot of these came from a firm called Gillings Foundry in Victoria Street. This is a proper one with its own built in water heater as well. Where? They got a little above and uh, in the middle of the house, keep it warm. Oh. We need to be warm up here, wouldn't we? Yeah. Bloody hell. Oh! Woo! Jesus, don't tread on that wood, Slippy. Just watch the wood. Sammy! There. I found some. Oh, I found it. Have you? Yeah. I'm telling you. Ooh. Tell us about this one then, Carla. What's the thought, story in this? What well, apparently they would, back in the day, put their money away from the house and the phrase, money in the bank, was it so it wouldn't burn if anything happened to the house. The money would be safe, wouldn't it? Have you found any money in there, Sammy? No. You can have it. So the expression, right. money in the bank, eh? Fantastic, isn't it? I suppose it's quite true because these things would be all um, thatched in their day, wouldn't they? Liable to burn down any day. <laughs> Would there be any other logical reason for it to be there? Do you know? Keep cool, maybe. Oh, it could be one of the fridges. Well, I was wondering about that too. <laughs> you know what? Hang on a minute. We've got the teeth and the mouth of the sheep. Just hold on. She's very excited. She's What's found a dead sheep now. So we've got the mouth with, with the teeth and some bones there. Well, you want to fetch them home because we can make a stew or a And look, bit there's of soup. a sheep poo there. <laughs> sheep poo? Sheep poo. Yeah. All that walk for a sheep poo. See how one of the old wooden lintels there? It's called evidence. Uh, wooden beams, I should say. So this didn't have actually have an upstairs. It's just one room. <coughs> Dead sheep everywhere. Oh mum! What have you found now? Oh it's the pig house. Is it the pig house? Yeah. No, no oh, pigs in there one? maybe. Oh look Sammy, pig house. No, I think that's a pig house. This is a pig, little pig house. Oh, look, a gnome. <laughs> Don't laugh, Sammy. Do you want a wee, Sammy? Oh, there's the toilet. In you go. Shrek's toilet. Go. In you go. Tyve. Go. Tom go Manor, tell us about it. Still got the roof on it, too. Oh, it's all right, isn't it? You have enough room for you in there? Yeah. So, this is the first time I've seen one with the... The whole thing there that you... Well, you empty your poo out. You empty your crap out. <gasps> See, Sammy doesn't want to come for walks, but she's absolutely buzzing. Just getting them out of the house, isn't it? It's always the case. Yep. You still want to do it again? <laughs> 
Yippee! What have you found now? Well, these are the outbuildings, Sammy. That's the actual house. Right, there's a well to... Another discovery we've got to find yet is the watering hole. I can hear something. Sammy! Yeah? Yeah. Hey. I could run and tap that. The aim is to not fall in. Oh. It's well and truly covered. <laughs> Here's the well. I don't really want to move them all. Uh, Kenny, no. <sighs> Sorry, I'll do it. Uh, you do it, Carla. I'm busy. D Sammy, get away. I'm not going to step on it. You go straight down there. Gonna fasten my pockets. I just know my phone will fall in it or something. <sighs> Very deep. That's a proto well. It's fantastic, isn't it? Roxy. There she is, folks. Well. Don't be a. Which we'll um, put the stones back on. Don't worry. Circular, specifically made. I guess this would never dry up. A rock in it. No, I just did. See the water running out as we speak. And it packed away it should have been left. Right past it, I think to explore, not very dangerous. Definitely worth a visit. Definitely. <coughs> I did promise you a pork pie. You did promise me a pork pie. And luckily, it's, and it, cranberry. It's been heated up. Is this been in your sweaty pocket? It's a sweaty pork pie just for you. Oh, can beat a sweaty pork pie. There you go. Oh, has it got cranberry in it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's all right. Sure. This really. That's why I didn't want it. Sammy, you need to sit your head up. Mm. So we can see you in the video. Mm -hmm. So there's a few things we've not talked about. There's been a couple of crashes or maybe more than two up here. The worst one was at the end of the Second World War when the B-17 crashed. The hillside along here, there's a memorial somewhere, we haven't found it yet. That was 19, you know, 31 people killed. Must, and that was probably the worst Alaman disaster in the, in the air world there's been. Well, wasn't it the guy that was living in this house? He ran up there? Yeah, you know, Mr Jackson, or somebody who was actually working on a tractor close by, ran three miles to get help. Nobody survived it. The, the no, guy, he pulled out a guy. No, not that one. No? I don't, no, oh, don't right. think so, no. But he said, uh, the guy on the tractor said it was just like a fireball when it hit the hill. All he could find was the actual bit of a tailplane. Ah. Huh. Then in 61, there was an Avro Anson crashed. He was six people on board. And again, one of the people lived up down here, pulled the pile out. Uh, but he, he died shortly afterwards. About that accidental shooting. Oh yeah, it was a bus driver. It was that 49, I think. Him and his brother, I think it was his brother or mate anyway, bus conductor used to go out shooting rabbits and ferreting around here. And um, his mate was going ahead and he heard the gun going off and didn't think anyone of him, so he 
his mate must have shot a rabbit and he turned around his mate was lying on the ground and Tommy dashed back to get help and got back the guy was dead and uh, the gun had gone off under his armpit and <coughs> shattered an artery so he bled out I'm afraid Dear me. So what do you think up here, Sammy? What's been the highlight for you? Hmm? What's been the highlight up here for you? What's your favourite part of your day today? Food. Come on. Hmm? Food. The food. Okay. Anything about up here? The safe. The money in the safe. Bit disappointing that you didn't find any money. Hmm. What about the oven? And the oven, yeah. Can you imagine if living up here, Sammy? No. Mr. Jackson lived up here. And he used to walk along this track that we've walked along for a mile and a half down to a farm to the main road. And he worked for the Board of Ag for 30 years, I think. He was a meat inspector and also an um, animal health man. So he visited all the farms the other man did on the bus. Something I love about these places, especially the high up ones, it's just so peaceful. They really did know where to put a house to have some peace and quiet, didn't they? They did. And a view. Mm. Mm. And just down there in the valley, there's Northern Laxey Mines, and you can see the three steeples or viaducts are right in front of us. The pillars. Mm. Mm. That's just going to be a good trip. We'll do that some other day. There's another farm around called Cornet Farm. There's a Shepherd's Retreat. A Keel. There's a Keel Valley. There's Long there as well. And uh, North Laxley Mine. So that's another full day out in the summertime, I think. Yeah. Definitely. My hands are like ice. Are they? This has gone cold again. It's tasty, though, isn't it? It's all right. What's your favourite meal this morning? <laughs> I don't really have my favourite murder stories, they're all not very Christmassy, are they? By definition. <coughs> so, well. you, if you are tempted to visit this place, do so. You won't be disappointed. Do you want to know mine? What's this? I don't know. Can you see? Did you never see this last time? I see this last time, no. Do you know? Having a look in here. Hmm. I can't believe you didn't see it last time. Did you? Yeah. I'm more thorough than you. <coughs> what do you reckon actually. this is then? I don't know. <coughs> shed. It's too good for a shed, it's isn't it? Too good for a shed, isn't it? Mm. It's a pole here. So we now wind our way home. We're all freezing. With the sun behind us. <coughs> we need to defrost. It's just been a good day though. Do you think so, Sammy? Yeah, it's alright. It's alright? Yeah. I'm sitting in the middle in the car. What will you tell your mates about this when you go back to school, Sammy? No. <laughs> no, what will you tell them? Oh my gosh. Never mind them. What about this place we've just been to? What about it? What are you going to tell them about it? Nothing. Must be something you can tell them. My tennis program. Oh, that's something, Isabel. 